Hello, welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is the starting 11 show for the Republic of Ireland versus Finland away in Helsinki in the Olympic Stadium, which I am here right now. Um, the team have trained this morning upstairs and uh, it's going to be a long hour wait now between now and uh, quarter to ten, I think it is, tomorrow night uh, for the game itself. Uh, that's local time, obviously, uh, 7.45 kickoff at home in Ireland. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. My goalkeeper is going to be Cuevin Keller, without question. Um, he's come into Liverpool in the last year and really impressed. He's come into Ireland when he's uh, been in that form as well and he's done really well for Ireland. So I can't see any anything past him. This is the team that I want to see. Uh, I want to see us play in like almost like a 4-4-2 formation, which could kind of also go into a 4-3-3 and also probably a 4-5-1 at some stages but anyway um, I digress so I'm going to go right back I'm going to go with Festi Abzeli I would like to see him given a nod uh, at right back there in uh, a back four and I think alongside him Nathan Collins as captain which was announced today and Dara O'Shea I think that's a really solid uh, foundation to build off and Robbie Brady at left back he's our only real option other than Liam Scales and Liam Scales is not more of a centre back than a left back although he did play quite well at Shamrock Rovers at left back but I think for this game I'd like to see Robbie Brady start as left back there and then um, you know you could even bring on uh, Liam Scales later on if we're doing well uh, or, or maybe if we're not doing well, bring on Liam Scales. But I do think that uh, Scales' better position would be for him to play centre back if he is to come on uh, at all. To be honest with you, um, and then in midfield, uh, I would go. I'm gonna. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna sound like a four four two. It's gonna look like a four four two, but it's gonna be rigid. Um, you know, you've got uh, Josh Cullen coming back into the team, which I think is pivotal uh, in midfield there. I think he's a brilliant player for getting us going and kind of, he's the only midfielder I think can get on the ball from defence and try to get us ticking over uh, quickly. Um, so I go with him and beside him I go with Jason Knight just to give us that attacking uh, option and energy in the midfield alongside Josh Cullen. On the wings I'll go Chiodozi Benny on the right side and on the left side we'll go with Mikey Johnson with his trickery uh, alongside Robbie Brady could be useful on that side cutting in on his right foot then uh, I suppose up front um, this was a toss up between Evan Ferguson and Sammy Smonox or Troy Parrott and Adam Eade I think the four of them together I think there's two that are similar to, to, to the two so I think Tro Troy and Sammy are quite similar players they're both looking to get in behind the last man uh, find that space and get into the one-on-one -on -one positions and finish past the keeper then you've got Adam Ida and Evan Ferguson who are both good goal scorers but they're both big physical presences as well um, so I think that they're quite similar as well so I don't see I don't see it being uh, say Evan and Adam starting together I think it will be more I say Adam and Troy, and that's what I'm going for. Adam and Troy uh, up front here together. They know each other really well. They played together uh, loads of times as young lads uh, and then coming through the ranks now. So I think uh, Ede has done quite well off the bench for Celtic uh, a lot this season. He's in form in terms of goal scoring. Uh, so I think if he can bring that with him into the national team and Troy as well, I think, look, uh, that's not to say Sammy can't come off the bench and affect the game. Of course he can, same with Evan Ferguson. Um, so yeah, I think that gives us a pretty good foundation to go out and try and get a win here in uh, Finland in Helsinki tomorrow evening. Let me know your thoughts on my 11 in the comments and I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching.